Hey guys, uh, I made a decision. I made a decision. <laughs> decision. I made a decision. I'm just gonna call it a decision. I'm, I made a decision on I'm gonna make two videos every week. I'm gonna make two videos every week. And I'm gonna make three videos every month. Four videos every year. Five, five videos every decade. Infinite videos in eternity. Okay, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm not kidding about the making two videos every week and three videos every month. Those two, I wasn't kidding about. But the other ones I was kidding about. But, yeah, I made a decision. So, I'm going to make... Um, a video right now, like another video right now, and a video on Sunday. It is Sunday tomorrow. It's today. Tuesday. Uh, no, not tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, on Sunday I'm gonna make another video. Um, yeah, I I know it's not a week, but I'm still gonna make a video on Sunday, and then and then six, and then uh a week after that video, I will post on Sunday. I will make another video, like and then like two videos. Right, so uh, so. We are going to be reacting to five videos. The first one is called The Back Rooms Found Footage. So let's watch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, that, is that supposed to be like a little monkey? Oh. Is it like one of those uh, old things where people just like kind of like meet in a corner and they kind of get like kind of scared? Yeah. Kind of like that? Whoa. What happened? Oh. Jeez. Back rooms. Oh my god. This is creepy already. A short film by Kane Parsons. Yeah? Yes? Hey guys. What? What do you want to tell us? <laughs> this is already kind of creepy. Hello? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh my god, no. Please don't turn around. No, just... Okay, just just walk fast, please. Just like just run, run, please no. Stop walking. No, no you're actually. Oh god, there's a crack in the wall. Don't look through it. I know what's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna be running down the hall, or just and uh, somebody's just gonna pop their head in the crack. I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Please stop, stop. Oh my god, I'm already too freaked out. What is that? I am already freaked out. What is that? Okay, well, that is probably one of the strangest things that you could find in, like, anything, like, anything in the whole entire world that you could find, that's probably the string, the strangest thing. Oh, what's this? Is one of them an exit? Let's hope this one is an exit. If it wasn't, then we have to go back to the other one. But if some kind of monster is back there, then... Can hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh. Hear you. 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 Yes. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Oh. <laughs> No, please no. no, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, 
Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys saw that, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, no. How long is this already? This is nine minutes long, and we only got three minutes into it. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, arrow? Even more arrows? Oh god, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared! Oh, oh my god. Go back. Don't move, stay still. What? Oh no! Oh! Oh, you should've went back. Oh god, oh god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. 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 This video is gonna make me poop. <laughs> I'm serious. This I'm like seriously this this video is gonna make me poop. Like If anybody is sensitive to scary stuff, you are definitely gonna poop your pants right now. Oh god. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god! Oh my god, he's so close! Oh, oh my god! What? Oh. Jump in it! I dare you! Okay, well, you have no choice, anyways. Oh, the. What is this place? What is. No! Don't play this game! Don't you dare start playing this game! Don't. No! What is this? What is this? I'm scared. This better be an exit. This better be an exit. <laughs> an exit. This... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Now we're back in this yellow room. I'd rather go back in there. It's basically kind of like a house. Like, like a little nice house. Why did you have to come back in here? Why? Why did you have to come back in here? Just why? Did... Who hurt you? Who hurt you to come back in here? Who hurt you? Oh no! No! He's here! He's here! Get in there! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! I almost threw my tablet. What the heck is that thing? What is that? Oh my god! I'm really terrified. I'm so terrified. Oh my god, what is that? What, what is, what was that? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, he's falling, he's falling! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! guys so we are going to be reacting and we are go we are going to be reacting to uh sonic.exe again actually because i remember the last time we reacted to sonic.exe the boom busters bb tales halloween knuckles knight and eggman's chaos emerald i remember all three of those when i was reacting to them yeah so this one is basically Sonic WXG 2, but um, it's not by the same person and not the same channel. It's a different one. So yeah, let's just watch it. We're starting off with Tails. 
like we would usually do. Yeah, Let's see Sonic. Hi Sonic. Hi Sonic. Hi Sonic. What you doing, buddy? But little does Tails know that's not Sonic. Little do they know that's not Sonic. Yeah, Tails freak. Tails is freak. Freak at that. Freak at He's already freaked out. Oh God. Oh no. Ring threw a chicken and half of its leg off. Sonic? Oh, sorry. Alright, so I just got back from the store actually. Is it really sorry? Nope, it's not. Oh wait. Oh that's that's loud. What are you gonna use the bone for? Well, he's cutting. He's cutting trees with his fingers. He must be strong. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna stab him? Stabbed him. Oh, he actually stabbed him. Uh-oh, Tails are in big trouble now. Yeah, he's in big trouble. Big trouble. Yeah, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, it's not here. What a relief. Oh no. Oh. Oh my goodness. Whoa. No, no, what? I didn't know you could talk. Oh, maybe it disappears. Oh my god. Is that the real Sonic? No, still Sonic.exe. It could be real Sonic. What is he gonna do? Oh god, yeah, I don't think the real Sonic would do that. Yeah, that's still Sonic that you see. And now he's going after Knuckles. Miles Ter Tails Prowler. Yeah, look at his evil smile. You know he's gonna do something bad. How's he gonna kill Knuckles? Because the last time that we watched uh, Sonic the uh they actually beat him up uh, good. Uh, Tails stabbed him in the eye with a cross. Uh, Sonic.exe fell off a cliff, and Sonic.exe got stumped by the death egg from uh, Dr. Eggman.
Yeah. Yeah, you're realizing that's not Sonic. Sonic. That's not Sonic. Not Sonic. You can look over there and see what he did to Tails. And you can already tell he's not Sonic. Just by like... Like a millisecond after you see that, you can already tell that he's dead. Yeah. Don't try and fight. Well, actually, yeah, try and fight. Last time you won. Well, not really. Because he... Oh. He definitely got stronger. Knuckles, what are you doing? Just standing there. Run. Well, at least he's doing what he's told to. Don't you dare pick up that tree. Birds are living in there. Don't you dare. Birds are living in there. Oh my god, he did it. Now birds are going to realize that their house is floating. I think Sonic Daddy XE might uh, like pick up that tree. I think his thing here is to pick up every tree, tree to see where he's hiding. What is he doing? Oh. Oh, so I think he knows where he's hiding. But he's just trying to get him with the wooden spears or whatever. Oh, that was so close. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. What is it? What is it? Oh! <gasps> What are you looking at now? Now you're gonna go after Dr. Eggman? Or, or what, he's, what he calls himself, Dr. Robotnik? Yeah, I knew, I knew a jump scare would be coming, would come. Uh, he looks serious now. Maybe he knows that he'll still get beat up. Okay, that was kind of creepy. <laughs> he's probably thinking in his mind that he's probably thinking in his mind. What the heck? Sonic can never fly like that. He would never. That's not Sonic. So I should kill him, like I did last time. I, uh, I should beat him up, like last time. It didn't really kill him. It's probably what Eggman is thinking. Oh, whoa! He just turned his arm into a bunch of tentacles. Oh gosh. Oh no. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt the doctor.
Oh my gosh. Oh, why does he scream like that? Why does he scream like that? No, like for real, why does he scream like that? It sounds like that he... It sounds like that he met a cursed evil mouse.exe screaming. So he wasn't really dead. Huh. Alright, so we are going to be watching um YouTube Shorts now. So this one is called Scary Story About Go Hide. Chris was counting and Ryan was hiding. After Chris counted to 60, he went to go look for his brother Ryan. But after searching the whole house, Chris could not find Ryan. He was screaming Ryan's name that the game was over, but Ryan never answered. Chris oh gosh. his parents and they then called the police. The police then came and searched the house, but they too couldn't find Ryan. Weeks went by and Chris and his parents believed that Ryan just ran away. Until one day, Chris went into the attic to go look for something. He then smelled something very bad coming from a suitcase. When he opened what? the suitcase, what is it? he found Ryan's rotting dead body inside. What? A look on his face. Ryan's screams couldn't be heard because he was stuck inside the suitcase. Oh! <gasps> Wait, that's where he hid! He hid in the attic in the suitcase! Oh my god! Oh my goodness, that was scary. He was stuck in the suitcase. That's where he hid. Oh. The strange news. Wow, that was creepy. Oh, here. Oh. For the last one, let's watch this one. This is the scary story about the waiter. One night, a girl went on a blind date. Her date took her to a restaurant. Although the man was very nice, she wasn't into him at all. Halfway through the meal, she was so bored. She was already thinking of excuses so she could leave early. The waiter could tell she was bored and kept smiling and winking at her. When the girl's date was in the restroom, the waiter came over and started to ask her if she was okay. She explained she was on a blind date and that she wasn't having too much fun. It turned out the waiter was just about to get off work, and he offered to give her a ride home if she waited 10 more minutes. She considered okay. it and was very tempted to say yes, but her date was coming back from the bathroom. She shook her head and smiled at the waiter and told him no thanks. The next night, the girl was watching the news, and they were saying the woman got murdered behind the restaurant last night. She realized it was the <gasps> same restaurant she was at with her date. They then said the police already caught the killer. When the picture came up on the screen, it was the waiter who was trying to take her home. Oh! Hey, let's watch a few more. Yeah, let's let's watch a few more. I'm I'm actually kind of into this now. Stupid ads. Skip. Have you seen my son? She was screaming, have you seen my son? The old man who lived next door said no. The mother knocked on every door on the street. Have you seen my son? She said over and over again. None of the neighbors seen the boy. Nobody knew where he was. The mother went to the police station and asked the officer behind the desk, have you seen my son? 
The police organized a search for the missing boy. They made announcements on the television and radio to get information. Every morning, the mother left her house and put posters up all around town. Each one had a picture of her son on it, and the caption said, have you seen my son? Once a week, the mother would go down to the police station and ask the officer on the desk, have you seen my son? Each time, the officer would sign and shake his head and say, I'm sorry, ma'am, not yet. Each time the mother walked home with a smile on her face, they would never find her son because she hid his body very well. Wait, what? So, oh, wait. I get it now. She killed her son. I think she killed her son. Oh, these are getting scary and scarier. Like, look at that picture. No. This is a scary story about the fake Santa, part one. It was Christmas Eve. Oh, there's different parts. Well, we're definitely going to react to that. My goodness. That was creepy. <laughs> Suddenly, Donna woke up to a tapping noise. 
Then somebody rang the doorbell. Donovan scrambled out of bed, got dressed, and ran down to the front door. Looking through the peephole, she saw her father's face outside. He was staring right at her, and the doorbell was still ringing. Okay, hold on, I'm coming, she shouted. She pulled back the deadbolt and was about to unlatch the door when she stopped. She then looked through the peephole again, and she noticed there was something off about her father's expression. His eyes were wide open, and he looked terrified. She then slid the deadbolt back into place. Dad, did you forget your keys? Donna yelled. The doorbell just kept ringing. Dad, answer me. Still, the doorbell continued to ring. Dad, please, I need you to answer me. Is there someone else out there with you? Still, the doorknob continued to ring. She then yelled at the top of her lungs, I'm not opening the door until you answer me. The doorbell kept ringing and ringing, but for some reason, her father refused to answer her desperate cries. For the rest of the night, Donna sat in the corner next to the door, crying and helplessly listening to the doorbell ringing over and over again. She then eventually fell asleep. In the morning when she woke up, she noticed it was very quiet. She then got up and went over to the peephole and looked inside. Her father was still there, just staring at her. She then cautiously opened the door and was confronted with a sight that filled her with unimaginable horror. Her father's severed head was hanging from a nail above the door, and there was a note attached to the doorbell. In weird sloppy handwriting, it read, Clever Girl. Oh, that was amazing, amazingly creepy. Well, uh, that was the last one. So, if you enjoyed, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, kill that like button. See you guys next time. Bye. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry for not saying that in the last video. Well, except for people who doesn't like me saying that. But you still know what to do. Gosh, that was a really, that was a really creepy, creepy one. Anyway, so yeah, bye.